performance-based incentive pay is simply a mechanism for trying to achieve a particular result. So if I just have base salary and a generalized bonus that's very subjective, well, that's good and it may get me where I want to go, but maybe there's something that I really want to accomplish. Maybe I want high on your list to be growing the endowment. Maybe I want high on your list to be increasing the size of the incoming class. Maybe I want high on your list to be adding a new campus to the system. If there are particular things that I really want to incentivize, then a great way to do that is to make that a part of my economic relationship with the president. If you can increase our endowment by X percent, we will give you a Y bonus. So it lends itself to things that can be measured, for which we have good metrics, for which a president can really move the needle on. I would say this is still a minority practice. It's not something we see in the majority of agreements, but clearly there's greater interest in it, and it can be a very effective technique. It really depends a lot on what a particular president's needs are. There are certain types of benefits that we see commonly, but at the end of the day, it will depend on a particular president. So one common benefit is tuition remission for the children of a president. If I'm a president with children of college going years, then that's an important benefit to me. If I'm an older president and my children are grown, that may not be such a big deal to me. I'll look for other kinds of benefits. So it really will depend on a particular president's situation. But one of the things we're starting to see is increased uh, deferred compensation. Presidents want to know, particularly with the economy having gone in a tough direction in recent years, that their years after their presidency are covered, that they've got some good uh, opportunity to rely upon and, and be in good economic shape since they've really given their lives to the college or university. So in addition to the benefits that they'll typically have, which are the same deferred comp benefits that other members of senior staff will have, we might have some extra deferred comp benefits. It might be an extra SERP or a uh, deferred compensation plan where there is uh, what's called substantial risk of forfeiture. In essence, it vests over a period of years the longer you stay. There are ways of incentivizing your good performance, your retention through additional deferred comp benefits. We're seeing some creativity in that area in particular.